Hi everyone, it's time for assembly. So I have my two, my two, um, I have my two little ears, my muzzle, and my round, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weave in, I'm gonna weave in all my um, little ends, and while I have my glue gun, um, heating up and it's the two temperature high temperature glue gun and this one works really well it has two temperatures it has high and it has low and it has they have different um, settings and the reason why I love this is because I bought it at Walmart and it's made in Taiwan it's not a Chinese um, glue gun so it's a little bit more durable I wish I had the money to buy a US made one but uh, this one was okay and oh and i wanted to show you guys i also make little bowls for my daughter and this is a little bowl uh, a little boutique stack bowl for um her school and it's um to show her school spirit she wears it um and let's see if you guys see it has little bowls on the side and i'll make a tutorial on how to make bowls as well if you guys want um i looked through my little stash of broken um head pieces and stuff like that and i found this broken um this broken headband and this one's the metal one and as you can see it has one of the flowers broken so i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can remove this other one this other one so i can use them but if not i'll go ahead and just remove um, the stones and I'll glue it on top of it like the other one the other one I used the plastic one I believe so let me weave everything in and I'll come back and we can start assembling and I will also be using these googly eyes I bought these at Walmart and they were less than a dollar I also went to the 99 cent store um, I think it was this weekend I'm not sure if was it the, no it was sorry it was a dollar tree i went to the dollar tree and they had a packet we had different size of googly eyes so um check them out um that one had like big ones and you know like they had i think like an inch to like this little tiny tiny i think it was one mm's ones so next time i'm gonna go ahead and grab some and get stocked over there instead of walmart they're a little bit cheaper and per unit so i'm gonna be using this and I'm also going to be using uh, felt, which I personally bought this um, when February um, ended, you know, for um, last year. And this was for Valentine um, cards. So usually like during Christmas or during Valentine's or any holiday day we have, I usually go after the holidays over and I check out their clearance section and that's when I stock up from like this little packet I think was like a dollar. And usually every felt um, square at Joann's or Michael's, it costs a dollar. So I really scored on this one because I believe they come with... Um, 36 by 9 pieces yeah they're limited colors but to be honest you know like they're not bad the colors it comes black white um pink purple pink um so it kind of comes with a lot of colors so i um i wish it came with more black but you know they came with one black and so far it's been enough so I'll see if this time um, when Halloween is over, I can stock up on the black ones. Hopefully they have the same packet. So let me go ahead and get all that ready and then I'll come back and we can start the assembly. Okay, sorry, a quick tip. If you never weave in, in ends, you can either use one of those um, tapestry needles, which it looks like this. You know, and you put it in and then you weave all the one ends through. But I personally, I'll just use my hook to do it. And let me do one real quick. And then you can go, I'll go ahead and stop and then I'll do the rest. So I'm going to go through the back post of one of the stitches. And then I'm going to grab my yarn and I'm going to pull it through. And usually I go like this, like in a zigzag. And since this is going to be in the back, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Um, just do it like wherever. Usually I take more time to hide them and make sure that you can't see them. But since I'm going to glue in the back, I really, I can't, I don't have to be super, super neat. So I'm going to be doing this to all the pieces. 
so I just go just a little trick for you guys if you guys want to weave in uh, without having to take out your tapestry needle and you know and try to weave in through all of them so just go ahead and pick up a back post which that means like these little ones right here and just go through pull it uh, pull your your um, hook through like this and then you grab your yarn and then you pull your you pick up the yarn with your hook and you you weave it through and that's it okay so I'm gonna go do this and then I'll come back okay I'm gonna start by centering um, where I want the muscle and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, close it except for a little piece where I'm gonna put in filler filler um, cotton or fiber um, in there you can put cotton balls if you want because you're not really gonna wash this you're just gonna um, um, keep it as a headband so uh, it doesn't really have to be um, any ones that are washable you can use cotton balls or whatever you have in hand so I'm gonna go ahead and sew it and I'm just gonna go through the back so I want my eyes to I mean my ears to be on this side so I'm gonna use and you see I'm gonna go ahead and um, do that so I'm gonna go ahead and um, sew it like so and I'm just gonna go like this all through the whole thing I'm not being very precise I just want to make sure that that there's no really it's not really opening up so that the cotton or filler fiber whatever you're gonna use to fill it with it's not uh, coming out so I'm just gonna do a simple whip stitch or you can do a simple whip stitch or you can do just a regular um, stitch like up and down just so that um, it just stays together I don't glue this part because I I do want it to be kind of like three-dimensional so I'm gonna fill it up and I'm gonna create like a little bump like an extension and um, or you can like a half circle or and I want it um, to fill it so I want to make sure that it's nice and insecured because you don't want it ungluing or anything. The one that I gave my neighbor it hasn't unglued or anything. She actually used it for her little um, for her birthday party. She also has been taking it to my daughter's school because I've seen her and she likes it. And it hasn't nothing has um, come off or the parts that we glue hasn't unglued. So yeah, so make sure you have a high temperature glue gun. And I think that the glues also matter. So I bought the same brand as the gun. And I bought this at Walmart as well where I got the um, glue gun. So it's the full size multi-temp multi um, glue sticks, okay? And it makes a difference. I tried the 99 cent store ones and they work, but they're not as permanent as this. Um, they usually like unglued very easily. They are very brittle. So I'm almost all the way um, close. So you see that little space? I'm going to go ahead and grab little balls of the fiber. I'm going to roll it and stick it in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and... um kind of like stretch it so that it can to see see I want a little bit more of it so start stuffing little by little you don't want to have to take out and restuff so just little by little see how big do you want it or how up the little half do you want and I think that's going to be good for me I'm going to stick a little bit more in there actually let me see if I can on crawl it. Yeah, that should be good. So a little bit, no, a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish stitching it and then I'm gonna um, make sure that there's no 
you know, once the, none of them are coming out and then I'm going to kind of work with it so they can expand. So I'm going to keep on going. And I'm just using, the only reason why this is small, this is thinner than the one that I yarned is because I had a little long scrap of it and I wanted to utilize it. If not, I would have used the same type of um, yarn that I used to crochet the, uh, the circle. I would use it on the on the needle to sew it in as well. But um, since since I had that little piece of scrap, I think I'll just utilize it. I don't like to waste. So okay, so it's completely done. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tie it a little bit. Okay. And then I'm gonna um, just stab it a little bit of the glue, just so that I don't have a problem with it going anywhere. And this is just a silicone. Um, glove for your finger and the reason why I'm wearing this is because the last time I made one I burned my finger and it created this bubble on there and it was there for a couple of days and it was very painful so I learned my lesson I grabbed these at Michael's when they had their big sale of 50% off of any um, regular price item and it came out to be like a dollar fifty for four of them and they are worth it if you work a lot with um, glue guns they're worth it because you're always getting your fingertips um your fingertips burned well at least i do so i'm very clumsy and since you use the big um the glue the high temperature ones it doesn't matter how big or small as long as it's high temperature um yeah those really hurt where are some of the other ones i've used the little cheapy ones from the 99 cent store and those don't hurt as much as these so i'm gonna grab my other needle the one that it's also a big needle but this one okay has a point i don't know if you can see this one has a point and the other one is dull and the reason why i do that is because i'm gonna be um trying i'm gonna be using um embroidery stitches to bring this um, nose and lips to life and sometimes I don't go all the way through and I like I sew on top of the stitches I really don't go through them and if I don't if I use the other one I have to go through the stitches and sometimes that doesn't give me the look that I want so I'm going to go ahead and use double on it, okay? So I got embroider embroidery black floss. And I got those thick um, flosses, the ones I showed you guys. Usually they use them for friendship bracelets. But since I'm using this new needle to embroider called the magic needle, I need a bigger thickness of floss. And those um, are pretty inexpensive and they've been doing the job. So I've been using those for just like um, black colors. So I'm gonna go through the back to start. And first, I'm gonna grab um, a marker and I'm gonna give myself a little template on it to follow. So I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna go grab a marker and then I'll be ready. Hi everyone, I know I finished the video but I wanted to show you guys um, the dog with the little tongue because my daughter wanted a tongue on it. She likes funny faces, so she said she wanted a tongue sticking out. So I added that with a piece of felt, and then I um, I went through with it with the floss, with the black floss, and then I uh, sewed it on because I think that she might want to get rid of it afterwards. So I just sewed it on so I'm able to cut the um, floss off if she decides to not keep the little tongue. Let me know what is your your preferred look with the tongue or without the tongue. Um, yeah, so this time for reals, I'm going to finish the video. I know I prolonged it more than necessary, but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it.
and again post your pictures okay i grabbed my felt and this is gonna be um purple my little girl loves purple so that's what i'm gonna do um as well so i cut a half um a half oval so i did a square and then i grounded the top and this one measures i would say it's about three inches about three inches you can make it as big or as small as you want and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do an accordion fold to make uh, a bow i would usually do it double um but i'm gonna try it this way hopefully it works if it doesn't i'll just um do a regular bow on it so i'm gonna grab my yarn with floss my leftover yarn with floss or I'm sorry, needle with floss. Sorry, it's kind of like gonna stick it through the middle. I'm gonna top it, and then I'm gonna uh, wrap the floss around my bow. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna um, pull it really, really tight. I want it to be really, really tight, and I'm gonna in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and fasten it. Make a little nice little knot so that it doesn't fall off okay okay and i'm gonna remember um do the accordion fold so and then knot it off okay okay let's see and the reason why i'm doing it like this because i want the bowl to be cur um cir kind of like oval from the top or curved from the top and have like those little nice little spikes coming down so i'm gonna cut it off and then i'm gonna fix adjust it so that it can look how exactly how i want it and i'm kind of it's gonna be a drooping bow you see it okay so it's rounded from the top and it has those little spikes okay so i'm gonna go ahead and um measure it to my little doll okay and I want it to be kind of off the head you see how it's off the head so I want it to be right there that's how I wanted it to be okay exactly right there so I'm gonna glue it in place just on the on the edges here and then once I cut it I will put a little um, thing on the back so it can have it as support I did a triangle on the other one so I'll go ahead and turn it around. I am going to put my little trusty little um, silicone glove. Okay, get it close to my. Okay, I'm gonna fix the the ear. So I'm gonna glue it in place. So I'm gonna put a dab on the ear, and I'm gonna go ahead and hold it in, and then I'm gonna look for where I want the other side okay so I'm gonna glue okay and then I'm gonna stick it in there and I'm using my glove again because last time I got burned okay okay and I'm gonna grab a little bit and I'm gonna put it on the flap just so it can hold the flap I didn't put a lot, just a little bit, just so I can hold it in place. Make sure it grabs it. Grab this. I think it wasn't enough glue. I'm gonna go ahead and um pop in another glue stick just to make sure I get that nice little bead of glue. Okay. I think I need it to get it higher temperature. Okay. And make sure that I put another little bead of glue in here. Okay. And here. Okay. Make sure it's nice and in there. Okay. So we have our little bow down here.
Okay, now I'm gonna put um, a gem on it. And I'm gonna put, I think this is a 4mm stone. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it like that, or I'm gonna try a blue one on it. Let's see, different colors. See what looks good. So these are the blue ones, and I kind of like the blue. Hmm, should I put polka dots on them or not? Okay, let me see. There's the blue. I think I like the, I like the, um, the purple one. So I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, put a little bit of, there you go. And I'm gonna grab it. Oh man, where are my tweezers when I need them? So I dab the little piece of glue and then I'm sticking it in there. And remember, all those little, if you touch the glue, it turns white, but there's no problem. You just cut it off. Cut off your glue. Don't pull, because you're gonna. Just make a mess, just, um, you'll do it, cut it off, okay, cut it off. So now, we're going to go ahead and, um, okay, I don't think I want this one to move either, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a little piece of glue in there, and I'm going to go ahead and position it exactly where I want it. And there you go. I know um, the other one I didn't glue them down and they're more playful. But I, this one I kind of like it like that. I'm going to have it be stationary. Just because my little one is more active than the other, than the neighbor's daughter. So what I'm going to do now, for support, I'm going to have, you see, I'm just going to stick this here in the back. And I'm going to have it for support, and then I'm going to glue the circle on it. So that's what I'm going to do for this particular. Uh, on the other one, I did a triangle, and it worked fine. But I have this little scrap, and I think I'm going to utilize it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. Make sure I um, grab it doubled, that I align it exactly where I want it and I'm gonna put my little glove because I keep forgetting it and I'm gonna end up burning my hand and then I grab more glue and there you go I, there you go and I just switch my my um, my glue gun to the highest temperature because it wasn't working with the low temperature setting um, it should have been fine, but for whatever reason, it's not working. So now, what I'm going to do, usually you would cut a circle and place it, but to be honest, I personally like to glue it on the sheet and then cut around it. I just feel it um, it works better that way for so whatever reason. So I'm going to go ahead and put it here, okay? And I'm going to cut around it. So I'm going to go based on the go based on this and I'm gonna go ahead and cut around okay sorry it wasn't on camera so I just place it and I'm cutting around you can trace and cut it around on the side if you like but this works good I like it like this okay you see, it's kind of like a circle and it's kind of straight from the top just because I want it to cover this. Okay, so I'm going to grab my my headband if I can find it because I made a mess of everything. It's kind of late and I, I need to go to bed already. So I'm going to be taking all these little gems out. And let me see if I can pop them off in that way. Let me see. Uh, I 
think I'm gonna remove the whole thing. It's better. So okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the whole insert. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it back. Move it back and forth. Be careful because if it's metal, you can cut yourself. I just did. Okay. So now I'm gonna. I'm gonna glue this one differently. The other one, I just glue this and I glue it, glue it like that. But this one is metal, so I'm gonna cover, cover, use the felt to cover the back. So I'm gonna place it where I want it. Okay. So let's see how it's it gonna be. Okay, it's gonna curve into it. Okay. I think right there is good. I think that is good. So I'm gonna, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it face down. I'm gonna put it where I want. I'm gonna go ahead and um, do that. Making sure that I'm in the middle of it because I don't want it to um I don't want it to to be off to off center so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it right there so I'm gonna start gluing yeah you can go ahead and um glue the glue it um put glue on the headband but I like this way better because I like it to be very um very symmetrical to your to her head so I, I wanted to do this to curve so I do that instead of the other way around and I use uh, I use the table as my guide okay so this is one side and I'm gonna do the other and I don't mind it um, you know I don't mind that I'm not doing the middle of it because I'm gonna glue I'm gonna glue the felt on top of it so I just want to make sure that it grabs on the ends and it, after that the okay then I'm gonna go to the middle where there's a little hole and I'm just gonna fill it with glue okay perfect so this is how it looks now okay now I'm gonna put the felt on top of it and you can clean it up and make it super nice and round but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna do it Make sure that I measure it, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and glue it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on my pattern. I'm not gonna put it on the felt. I'm gonna go ahead and, okay? I'm gonna go glue as I work, okay? So I'm gonna put it exactly where I want it to. I'm holding it in the middle and I'm working to see exactly where I want the felt to go. And there you go. So I'm gonna, do it in sections, okay? And I figure that this works better. For whatever reason, it works better. So let me make sure that this glue stick is, okay? So I can get a generous amount. You want a generous amount in it. You do not want to skimp out on the glue on this part because this is going to also help to... Also, this is going to help to keep it together as well as support. Because remember, we just did the little bit of glue to just have it contour to the headband. We're not using it as the holding, the per, uh, the main holding of the headband. We're just using it to contour, to contour the um, the applique. Make sure we glue it completely because the felt is. It's going to be holding the pattern and the headband together, okay? So I'm making sure that I use my little glove this time. I'm not used to it, so I keep on messing with it, but I just burn myself again, making sure that I use it. And I'm just going to work back and forth in lines just so that I don't miss any part of it, okay? About three lines, and I'm going to go ahead and start putting it in sticking it in okay I'm gonna stick it in stick it in stick it in stick it in making sure it's nice and 
full. I'm gonna lift up a little bit. And again, I'm gonna work in lines. I'm not working in rounds because I want every little thing to be covered in the glue because it's gonna be holding the headband. If I worked in round, it would, by the time I was finishing the round, my glue would dry. So I'm making sure that I am, let's see. And then I'm gonna grab ribbon and I'm gonna um, glue it to the ends of the headband so that it doesn't bother her behind your ears because these were broken, so making sure, okay? Now you see this is almost done. So working in lines, better than in rounds, it's way much better. That way you know exactly what is glued or where the glue is missing. Because if, if I were to work in the round, it would, by the time I was done, it, probably most of it would be dry and not have a really good adhesion. So working like that helps me out. You know? As you make more, you're, um, you're going to get better at it. And I do, um, you know, I do um, ask that if you are gonna be doing this pattern, you do not sell the pattern or, um, Yeah, you do not sell the pattern. You do it for your own um, benefit. Um, make sure that um, you give credit to those persons that we use, um, we Frankenstein the pattern from. Okay. I have no idea if someone has come up with something similar. So for as far as I know, this is the first time I see it and I'm the first one that does it. But I'm pretty sure I haven't researched very well and there's still people out there that probably did it. Similar, maybe not the same, but similar. And used it for something else. I've never seen these in headbands. So give me a shout out if you do it. And please post your pictures because I want to see what you come up with. I have I think I'm going to do a couple more to give to my um, nieces. My nieces, And I'm going to go ahead and do a white doll with a, with a um, black dot at a black dot and then the, the eye. And then I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the the, um, the little um, ear flaps. I'm going to do them black. So I'm going to do a white and black dog. And then I'm going to do a panda. And I'm going to do different little animals for headbands or pins. Or you can even um, do it if you don't have those headbands. I mean, if you don't want to buy them. You can also do them as pins. Or you can also do them. As you remember those elastic ones that are like um, full headbands, you can go ahead and do that and sew it into that, and it'll also contour to the to the head instead of gluing it. You'll sew it in. Um, you can use different ways to attach it. You know, make it your own. That's what it's all about, making it your own. I um I was thinking of putting eyelashes, but to be honest, I think it'll be too much. For the, for the pattern, I think next time I'm gonna do like little like little studs here, like if they were earrings. But I don't think I'm gonna do it for this one. Let's see, how would it look if we would put a stud like an earring? Let's see. You think it'll look cute? I'm not sure. I'm trying to see, but I think it will be a little too much. What do you think? Well, it just, I, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yeah, this is the, um, this is um, my little doggy headband with the applique. And remember, you can use this applique to put in afghans or hats or um, you can do it on bags. You can put it on scarves. Um, yeah, so make sure that you give me a shout out if you do make these little headbands and yeah, post them up. Show me what you're, you know, show me what you're making. I am more than willing to see uh, how creative you are and how you make this um, tutorial your own because that's what it's all about. Making sure that you make it your own and you make it fun for you. So again, a 
big thank you to Yolanda from the Off Craft channel for she is the one that taught me how to crochet after so many trials and errors. And this is um, the first attempt of a doggy applique that I've um, Frankensteined. So it's mostly bits and pieces of other um, of patterns, but the idea is mine. And yeah, I'm very proud of it. I think um, they look really great. So what I'm going to do is, if you remember, the other one had, um, I made it like a little bow. So maybe I'm thinking of reusing this little flower and maybe putting it here like the other one. Remember, like we did a little dog tag. But I'm not sure yet. I think I might not do that. I think like that it looks good. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and um, put a piece of ribbon here. Or even a piece of felt, I think. Yeah, let's do a piece of felt. Real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And then I'm going to measure it. So I can do half here. Okay. So I'm going to do half, like so, okay, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to fold, let me see, I'm going to fold the bottom, and then do this, and do that, no, it's going to be too thick, so I'm just going to go and fold it like this, and like that, and that should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, okay, I think this is going to be, no, like that, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue here, so I'm putting a little bit of glue in there, let me put my little trusty Okay, I'm gonna be grabbing this like so and forming it to the to the headband because this headband has a little swoop and then I'm gonna put more glue on the side. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold one side, making sure I pat it down with my little glove. And then I'm going to go ahead and put more glue on this side. And then go ahead and uh, making sure I take the excess off. And like I said, if it comes out white, no worries. You just cut it off. Cut off the glue. Don't try to pull it. Just cut it off cut on top of it and just cut it off okay. making sure the bottom is nice and secure and there you go you see this is not gonna hurt her ear anymore so I'm gonna do the same to the other side and this is the little doggy headband applique thank you for watching hopefully you like it and stay um stay tuned because um Hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have the other applique ready for you. And that will be the um, the Monster High Skull applique. And I'm going to do a series of these. These are also going to be for the hair. But I'm going to do a series of, um, I don't know if you've seen the appliques that Monster High has with the skulls that they represent each school. So I'm going to do that. This is going to be the regular um the regular logo school. Then I'm going to do the Draculaire Ghoul school. And then I'm going to do the Laguna Blue um, school um, ghoul. And then I'm going to do um, Claudine. And I'm going to do um, the one that it's wrapped like a mummy. And I'm going to do several of them. Because um, I was thinking of doing them for her hair. But I'm also, like I said, I was um, we're decorating her room and we're doing a mural of Monster High. So I'm going to end up doing all her bedding. So I was thinking of mixing crochet and sewing, like quilting, to make her um, bedspread and going to do like some accent pillows. 
So I was thinking of using them instead of for the hair as appliques for some of her pillows, but I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to show you how to do them in applique form and already all decorated so that you can either use them for the hair or use them for an applique. And I will be um, giving you the, the links from where I got this and then uh, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take what we learned from those um, people and we're going to make it our own. We're going to go a step further and just make, make our own design with their base um, skull. Okay, so that's for next time. And um, thank you very much for watching. All of you that have, um, you know, have watched all four of you. So thank you. And hopefully you... Um, Try this and um, send me pictures or post your pictures or link, give, send me a message and link me to your YouTube channel and I'll go ahead and subscribe to your YouTube channel and look at how you make my, my little Frankenstein pattern your own. So happy crocheting. Have a good one.